This is Twit. Sean in Toronto's next. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Sean. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Nice to have you. Hi. Um, okay. I'm I'm kind of on the fence for VR slash like uh, or AR like because I don't know whether to. Um, well, maybe I'll, I'll start off by saying I, I've got all like Apple hardware at home. Okay. And I went to a guy's, uh, well, our friend's place, and he has an Oculus Rift. Oh, did you get to play with it? Yes. And you loved it. Actually, I really liked it. Yeah. I, I thought it was pretty cool, right? And um, Yeah, unfortunately, and we, none of the VR or AR stuff currently out works with Apple at all. None of it. You can't use Android Daydream. You can't use Samsung Gear. You can't use Oculus Rift. You can't use Vive. In fact, quite insultingly, the folks at Oculus Rift, I think it was Palmer Lucky, the founder of Oculus Rift, said, yeah, we're never going to do a Mac app. They just don't have very good video cards. And, it, you know, that, that true or not, it is somewhat true. Apple has not really paid a lot of attention to high-end uh, video cards in the last few years. And the iPhone... Yeah, the new iPhone 8 or whatever. Well, the rumor has it that's going to be a big deal. Actually, it is not even rumor because Apple announced at the developers conference in June a, a new developer kit called AR Kit. It's designed all around uh, uh, augmented reality. And there are already some companies using uh, doing some augmented reality stuff uh, with the iPhone. So... According to Apple, whatever they do, this AR kit will work on any iPhone from 5S on. So you don't have to have the new iPhone. It'll work better with the new iPhone because the hardware in the new iPhone will be designed for it. But it won't be anything like your Oculus Rift experience. Your Oculus Rift experience, you put on a big old head visor with headphones in it, right? It was an immersive yeah. experience. And as you look around, you're in somewhere and you're looking around did you play a game, or just did you do the demos with the aliens looking at you, or you looked down? No, I, I played a couple of games that he had, and one They're of fun. them was like a, a a scary game where yeah, and and you, you fire like it was kind of like um uh, a Call of Duty type thing. Well, it wasn't really Call of but Duty, it's but it's knights and, and swords. Yeah, and it was yeah. kind of really cool, right? It's a really and fun you're... game, and it's terrifying. I've had the skeleton jump out at you, and it feels like. There's a skeleton. Yikes! <laughs> it's scary. So, a couple of things so, I would say. Well, well, then basically, I'm wondering: Is this AR kit going to take over? No, VR? it's not going to do that. It's not going to do that at all. There's no, there's no helmet. Uh, Oculus now has uh, touch paddles. There's no controller. What it's going to do? This is what Apple's AR kit is going to do. You hold up your phone, and you're looking at a scene through the camera, and on top of it is Stuff. One of the first apps that was announced, Ikea, the furniture company, they're going to make an app where you look at your room and you can say, well, show me what the Ikea Frum Pum Fum set looks like in there. And then it will superimpose it and you can walk around and see how it would look in your room. That's not the same thing. I mean, it's a from the technology point of view, it's a similar technology. From the end user point of view, it's a very different thing. And I know what you sounds like what you want to do is those games. Yeah, well, I thought that was really cool because, uh, and I'm thinking that well, maybe if I hold off, maybe Apple will do the same yes, thing. Yes, maybe. It like, well, we, do, uh, we don't know. They haven't announced anything like that, and because they don't, uh, the VR that you did, the Oculus VR you did, requires an Nvidia, a fast Nvidia graphics card, faster than anything Apple sells in its any, even if it's best computers today. I think maybe the, when the new iMac maybe has enough horsepower to run it, but nobody's making software for it because it's just that one computer. So, uh, you know, because I'm on the fence, like whether I, I don't blame you. Here's what I would here's what I would look at. There's a couple of things you could do. If you got an Android phone and you can get cheap Android phones, make sure it's Daydream compatible, and then for a hundred bucks you could get a Daydream, which is very much like the Oculus. It's not quite as compelling. But it's a visor you put on, and you get a little controller, and you can you can play games. Did you get sick at all? How long did you play? Oh, I played for a good uh, 20, 25 minutes. And I you never got it. queasy or anything? No, no. I thought it was really cool. Good. That's good because uh, the um, 
some people, about 10% of everybody gets queasy. And, and if that's the case, you, you know, VR is not a very fun thing to do. Did you, when you took it off, were you a little disoriented? Um, at first, just a little bit, but it, it went away right away, like yeah. not right away, but you know, like a couple of seconds later. Good. Type thing. So there's something called simulator sickness, which the Air Force has identified. They identified it years ago because pilots went in simulators to learn how to fly. And a percentage of the population, they estimated about 11 percent gets is that it can disorient you for as long as 24 hours. And if you're one of those people, you shouldn't even drive a car for the next day. <laughs> But you're not, which is good. So you're a perfect candidate for VR. The problem is I don't see Apple and uh, doing it. Now, again, you could buy the newest iMac, but then there's just, there's still no software for it. May, it's going to come down to uh, Apple uh, getting uh, somebody, Oculus or HTC, to make the software for it. Now, I'm looking at the Apple page, and they say, a virtual first for iMac. VR makes its debut. The ability to edit 360-degree video like in Final Cut Pro. And they show a picture of a Vive headset, and that's it. I don't see... <laughs> I don't see anything else. Editing, editing, and actually playing is different. And I, yeah, and I and uh, let's see here. Uh, there's a footnote. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. Footnote six requires Mac OS 10, Sierra Radeon 580 graphics. Uh, it's really they. Oh, uh, well, Final Cut editing support will be uh, coming later this year. See, I don't. Oh. Apple's not the platform for VR. If you want to do VR, there are VR things you can do with Android. What a lot of us ended up doing, I did, buying and or building a high-end Windows machine. I bet your friend, that's what he has. Yeah, it, um, it's um, yeah, great, that's disappointing. Great, great, great. It's disappointing. I know you want you want to do it, and uh, and you're an Apple guy, and this is I'm sorry, this is the way it is. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.